Now we are talking about the Aetna panel in the Aetna HMI Lite version, which is what you see right here. Um, this is our brand new 21.5-inch multi-touch panel in order to operate the machine. This is actually not an imac own machine control, but it's a web page which is hosted locally on the IoT core, which you can see in our Aetna IoT Ready video. And um, this website actually allows you to operate the machine. And why is it called Lite? Because um, in this version, we just make the machine operable with um, the native Fanuc CNC screen, which you see right here. That means we have a virtual keyboard down there, Fanuc CNC screen here, and a very limited amount of hardware keys. So you have the emergency stop here, you have start, stop, reset, you have plus and minus, we will see what it's good for. Um, you have two wheels um, for the spindle and feed rate, and on the other side you also have hardware buttons for start and stop of the motors of the machine, you have the key switch, you have the manual consent switch, and here you have two additional um, USB ports where you can plug a keyboard for example, uh, which can be mounted underneath here if you need it for programming and so on. The idea of the HMI Lite is um, have the machine fully operable with um, the native screen of the control supplier, but you also have um, first functions which are actually of additional value here in the global status bar, which you can um, expand anytime you uh, click there. And what you see here, for example, is um, a 3D model of your machine. If I stop the machine, for example, and if I change to jog mode, you see that you can um, select axes here, for example the x-axis, and you will see plus and minus, which indicates the direction in which the axes will move. At the same time, simultaneously, um, the buttons down here will be ignited, and you can say plus and minus in order to operate the machine. Same goes, for example, for the z-axis and so on and so forth. So at a glance you can see um, how the machine is operable and in what direction something happens if you turn there. Also you have different functions in a very intuitive way here, for example um, the safety test, uh, warm-up cycle, you have the information on the current uh, positions of your, your turret and so on. Um, you can also turn it. No, you cannot because the z-axis is not in the right position. Um, then you have um, another screen where you have um, more or less similar functions um, but described in a different way because the idea is more or less that you can a little bit configure, configure the screen as well which is also pretty helpful for machine operators who want uh, functions which they use on a regular basis somewhere they, they find it pretty easily. You have a quality screen and here you have the error messages um, for example if I try to start up the machine again or I will open the door uh, you see door is not closed, so this is the area where the error messages will show up. So in general the machine is fully operable with some first functions which are of added value. Um, you will have the possibility to update with a lot of nice software features, but we have a separate information video on that, so I don't want to go too much into detail today. Um, just to give you the complete overview over the light functions, you have the eMac Access here with your personal settings, for example where you can set the language and so on. You have a nice area where you can uh, take a look at some machine documentation. So this is basically a PDF reader, um, which is pretty helpful because you don't need any separate PC down there. And you also have our IoT functions integrated in a nice way, which is on the one hand the fingerprint um, screen, where you can start the fingerprint function, which you see in the separate Aetna um, health check movie. And you have uh, the machine dashboards down there, they need a little while to load, but um, there at a glance you also have our Aetna Lifeline dashboards where we also have a separate video to explain them. That's more or less the basic overview about the HMI Lite. And thank you very much for watching.